Well, time for a little home improvement project, so to speak. I'm gonna freshen up my Utah bowl. It's just a Euro mount, but I've had it hanging up outside the uh, covered patio above the fireplace for since we moved in here a little over a year and a half. And I noticed the other day how weathered it was starting to look. A lot of that sap and everything that's in the grooves of the antlers that make it such a nice dark color is uh, just showing some weather and starting to deteriorate. So I reached out to Jesse at J2 Taxidermy who does all my beetle Euro, my Euros here with beetles and asked him and he says you can stain it with a wood stain make it as dark as you like and then kind of polish up the tips and get it as natural looking as possible and help protect it from the elements so I'm going to give it a whirl maybe film a little bit of it for step by step if any of you have racks that are outside and worried about them uh, falling apart deteriorating not looking so good hopefully uh, hopefully it'll work and be a resource for you some of this here Starting to flake off all that rubbing and everything they do in the in the fall has just gotten weathered. There's not much moisture that gets on it, but the sun beating on it and just the wind and the dry temperatures. So start by cleaning some of this up and we'll go from there. So not a lot of directions other than wipe it on, let it set for a little bit, wipe it off. You can keep doing that until you get the color that you want. And then if some of the tips are a little bit darker and you want that nice polished look, then uh, you can use some really fine, fine sandpaper and, and sand that off till you get the white look. So I think it's time to get started and see what this thing is going to look like. We'll make this up as we go along. down and see what she looks like at the end of the day it's still wait till it dries but it's got that good just sort of glossy look that those freshly rubbed antlers have well I got to tell you I'm pretty impressed with this tip that Jesse gave me this left antler looks totally refurbished a little bit of drying that needs to take place I did do two coats on these front antlers where there was more sap and where some of that sap remained it really stained it nice and dark and then just polished up these tips. I may use some fine sandpaper, I may not, but I think I'm gonna do the right side exactly the same. One coat, wipe it down, two coats, wipe it down, let it dry and see how it looks. But uh, so far, I'm really impressed. It just brought it totally back to life and makes it look just like it was the day that I shot it. Well, I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with that little trick to bring your antlers back to life. Um, let it dry for another hour or so and then go hang it and take a picture and show you what it looks like above the mantle. But right now, I am really impressed. Well, just hung the Utah bull elk back up after freshening up the antlers, and I think it looks pretty darn good. There was a couple of spots here on the uh, right antler, which is on the left side over here, where the sun in the winter would hit, and it was looking pretty worn. So I think it came to life pretty well. May have to do it every couple of years, but that's a small price to pay, and uh, looks great right there. <laughs> 